Welcome to day 22. I am outside with the kids this morning. We're supposed to be leaving the spa today, so we should be packing everything up and getting ready to move. But we decided we're gonna extend this spot a few more days. Uh, my birthday is tomorrow and we are really enjoying this spot. So we're gonna be here a little bit longer and since we don't have to be out of here in the next hour, I'm outside with the kids and we're about to do oh. school. And then, what? It's your birthday <laughs> So we're gonna do um, Natalie's lessons and, you got a bead? We're gonna do Natalie's lessons and then maybe, hit the playground. This morning we're just working on language arts and math, but Natalie's favorite subject is phonics uh, because she loves reading, so she already started without me, actually. So we use the good and the beautiful for math, language arts, and phonics. And then we use blossom and root for basically everything else, science, nature, study, art. I do music with her because I am a musician, so we do that together. And we basically just do school when we have time to do it. So that's why I really like using these for uh, math and language arts because we can do it like in the car, we can take it with us and go to the park, we can do it anywhere. And that's what we do. And by the way, I am so grateful to get to homeschool. My mom actually homeschooled yeah, myself and our, my two brothers. Oh, um, that's funny. Yeah, isn't that cool? Mimi, Mimi hey! taught me. And now it's going to go over and over and again. And I'm going to teach someone else. Maybe. Yeah, if you decide to. So I'm super grateful to be able to do that. And um, even if we lived in a house, I'd probably be doing it also. I haven't mentioned how much I love this spot because the kids are over there playing. And I'm going to make lunch in the shade because the bus is actually blocking the sun. So it's not too hot over here. It's wonderful. But I do need to turn the propane back on. Under here. This way? Or this way? That way. Okay. And now I can make lunch. Here's our little duck from Maid of the Mist. Isn't he so cute? He's got his raincoat. We usually don't buy souvenirs, um, but Eddie was a sucker for this one, so we let the kids get it. Doing some leftover burgers and grilled cheese on the Blackstone. I guess I don't really need both sides. That's a waste of propane, which by the way, our propane is getting really low. We used like 10% of our propane last night with trying to make those french fries <laughs> since they took so long. So we have two tanks, one is completely empty and the other one is at like 30%. So we're gonna need to go fill up our propane, like soon. Ah! <laughs> oh jeez, don't fall away! Don't go away! Yeah. Some french fries. Oh, is mine? All yours. Yeah. More strawberries? Yep. Yeah. Anybody want blueberries? Mmm, those look good. Not like the last ones we had. That is why you can't do Walmart pickup for produce because then they, you literally get the worst produce. Like, it's like they purposely give you the worst one. <laughs> it's like so bad. So we got some at Target yesterday. It looks way better. You guys remember when we picked blueberries in Maine? Mm -hmm. When we were hiking in Acadia and we got to the top of the mountain and there were wild blueberries everywhere. Yeah, do you remember when we picked strawberries? Oh, that's a really mm. We picked raspberries, yeah. Blueberries? Okay. I said a lot more blueberries for mommy. Anyways, Eddie's been working all morning so he's having a little Pokemon break? Pokemon break. <laughs> do you like it better when we have days where we go out and do a lot of stuff? Or when we stay here and just play on the playground? I don't know. You don't know? Because sometimes there's no playground. Yeah. Like, like a day when we're like out and we're like at Niagara Falls and we're like going on boat rides and stuff like that? Or do you like it better when we're just like hanging out, having lunch here and playing? What do you like better? What do you like better? I don't know. I guess I don't know either. Um, I'm Gotta have both, right? Gotta have balance. Can't be going out every day and going on uh, boats. I found my candy. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Inch. Inch. Yes, good job. We love using the Blackstone. Um, it's just like, it's my first time ever in my life using propane to cook. I've always been like a you know charcoal guy. 
Um, so I need tips. Any tips you have for this at all? Like taking care of it. Taking care of it, uh, reseasoning it. I mean, we're gonna try it right now. Any any tip? It could be a cooking tip too. We're open. Yeah, the corners are looking a little in need of love, especially this part. This section looks really bad. And also, like, do you guys recommend seasoning the sides? And like this area looks bad. So yeah, it's okay. I feel like a lot. It says for the 22 inch to use that much. I guess so. Yeah. I mean, like I said, you can put it on the sides. You can put it on the outside. If you have any left over. It looks like it's going well. Cause like, look at this. It looks bad on like the supporting pole there. Can you put some on that? I don't know if that heats up. I don't know. Maybe just do it. Okay, Eddie put this a little too close to the grill, <laughs> and it is not the shape it once was. <laughs> Joey's asleep. So, I'm gonna finally tackle this organization project that I've been needing to get done. I organized it recently, but whatever system I put in place, the kids cannot maintain, so that means it's time to purge some of it. All I've done so far is the clothes. <laughs> now I'm about to get into the toys, which is literally a disaster right now. Like, I had everything organized in these, which is mostly held up, but the underneath is just, oh my gosh. I'm having, uh, what is it called? Decision fatigue? Too much stuff. I made progress. My donate pile is even bigger. And I'm still trying to figure out how to reconfigure these so that it makes more sense because it's kind of confusing and not well thought out the way that I set it up originally. I had Natalie's clothes here and Joey's clothes here and then toys, 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 some toys and some towels. And then this was like Natalie's pajamas shelf, but I've like pared it down a lot and I was able to get rid of so much that I can, I kind of took away like some bins. So I think I can get all the clothes into two squares and kind of spread the toys out so that they're easier to get to and maybe we'll actually play with the ones we have. I have a helper now. What do you think about this project? Cool, dude. What do you think about this so far? I, I, I wanted to put this there because it's like kind of like things. Oh yeah, okay. you're right. You glad we're organizing it? <gasps> oh hi. <laughs> what? I'm in to save you, dude. We finished this half and she said, wow, that looks much better, mom. So now I feel motivated to finish it. Okay, this is my crazy donation pile. <laughs> like, I didn't go through all the bins yet. This is crazy. I don't even see how this stuff fit in the bins that I took it out of. <laughs> it's crazy how much stuff you can fit in a little bit. All right, so we decided to bust the bikes out because I haven't been riding at all through this campground. I've only gone to the store and that's it. So. I've been begging Eddie since we got here. Can we please go on a family bike ride? It's like my favorite thing. I need to put this in my pocket for a crash. Oh. And we're going to see if there's... I think there was another school that I pulled in the other day. I forgot to tell you. I told you. Oh, really? I'm the one who put it out to you. Were we, were we together? We were together. Huh. All right. I'm going to see if the other one is. Yeah, I bet you the other one's gone because it's already Sunday. He probably only came for the weekend. Y'all good back there? <laughs> They're playing uh, Connect Four or something. Oh, there he's leaving right now. No, that's him. He's leaving right now. That's cool. I can't believe we've been here this many days and we haven't come down here yet. I don't know if it's this way. <laughs> I saw people like walking this way and I don't know why. Like this is why. <laughs> this you wanna feel it with your toes? Little monkey. Wow. This is pretty. Oh, 
That's not that cold. We're cutting through a secret passageway over here. Is that it? <laughs> so that we can cross. It's the last time this rock's gonna ever see the light of day. <laughs> Whoa! I was not ready, I'm sorry. <laughs> You put rocks on the rock? Let me see. Hold on, he's showing Check out me. Check mine though. Okay, that is the flattest rock. That's <gasps> a big flat rock. Whoa. Whoa. It was fun, did you have fun, Natalie? <laughs> no, you lost your rock, so she's not having fun. Look at the moon! Go, kitties, go! Just got back from our bike ride and now it's time for dinner! You know, I really don't feel like cooking, but I do feel like eating, so I'm just gonna make a simple jarred sauce spaghetti, roast up some Brussels sprouts, one of our favorite vegetables, and call it dinner. Because we're hungry, we gotta eat, doesn't matter if it's fancy or not. Brussels sprouts? Oh yeah, girly! You like these? She loves them. It's so funny, I don't remember eating them as a child. I mean, I'm sure my parents are gonna say um, I did, but I don't remember it. And then as an adult, I like I like them. But I always thought, you know, everybody like kind of talks smack about Brussels sprouts. They kind of like give it a bad, everybody's like, oh, Brussels sprouts are not good. But like, they must be boiling them or something. Like, have you ever roasted a Brussels sprout with salt and pepper and garlic? It's delicious. So if you think you don't like Brussels sprouts, Try them roasted. I think you'll change your mind. So on our bike ride, we met two other schoolies, which was really cool. We got to chat with them. So our bike ride lasted a little bit longer than we originally planned, but we got to meet some cool people. I, I officially have a sous chef. So sous chef. Sous here we go. Chef. Do you know what to do first? Cut this the off. stem off. Your knife might not be able to handle a stem. Here, take my stemless one. You don't put your fingers under it. Okay. Flat. Flat. Fingers back. Fingers back. Down the middle. Oh. Ah! Run away, Brussels sprout! <laughs> it, Brussels sprouts are really hard. I'm not really sure if your knife can handle it, to be honest. Wait. What is it Oh, hi. Hello. Good job. <laughs> Dinner is served. Oh. And YouTube. <laughs> I guess Eddie's an iPad kid. I got a surprise for you. Come turn the button for the light for the oven. Turn on the oven light. Yay! What is it? Open it! They're not done yet. They're almost done. Wee! Gonna eat sprinkles. We are gonna eat sprinkles. They're they gonna be yummy. <laughs> oh my God, decorate them too. They're already decorated. See how they came out. Yeah. Oh, they came out. Looks like perfect. I want mine, please. Yum. Cookies. Okay. Yay. Cookies. Day twenty-two. I'm still wearing the same shirt. Same same outfit from yesterday. <laughs> Because I woke up and I just went straight to editing. And then. Uh, just spent the whole day wearing that shirt. Yeah. And it has had toothpaste on it since yesterday morning. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bless my. <laughs> Alright, y'all. See you tomorrow for day 23. Good night.